wait. Who's ready for a giveaway? Who's ready for a giveaway? Oh, yeah. When I say W, no. you say W. We, no, sorry. <laughs> when I say W, you say we. When I say C, you say Casa. We. Casa. <laughs> Casa. Oh, God, cheerleader. <laughs> really right. excited. excited. People in here. Starting to fill up. Let's see. There we go. We have an and we All have right. we'll one in now from Boulder. Rex is in Boulder. <coughs> yeah. This is the giveaway. You are in the right place to learn everything you need to know about the We Casa Five Night Stay giveaway. There we go. Now everyone's trickling in. That is right. Super excited. Awesome. Hey, everyone. We Casa. So we're going to take a quick pause from our speaker presentations and uh, give you guys some more insight into the We Casa giveaway. What is We Casa? Where it's at? Who it is? And uh, how to uh, get access to it? So, um, I guess to start it off, Lindsay, do you want to share with everyone what We Casa is and how awesome this place yes. actually is? Yes, going I'm going to share my screen because the picture says a thousand words, right, people? Yeah, that's right. Let's just take for a moment. Look at this beautiful area. This is Lyons, Colorado, about 20 minutes north of Boulder. When my husband and I were traveling through Colorado with our tiny home, we had the privilege of being able to stay, um, not in the We Casa, because we had our own tiny home, but we actually hosted a movie night at We Casa. There are nice. 20, awesome. 26 tiny homes, okay? The way it works is people that own tiny homes can actually locate their tiny home there. I'm going to bring you guys to, um, let's say, over to their YouTube page because there's more videos there. Cool. Um, I ended up getting back to, oops. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I was in a, um, let me get there. Well, I see I'm in their visit site. There we go. Okay. So Forbes did an article on Wicasa. They are known as the world's largest um, tiny home resort with 26 tiny homes that you can actually stay in the try before you buy. Sorry, my there you thing go. Is um, here we go. I'm I'm pretty sure the Forbes thing will take us through. I might have to skip ads for a second. You know how that works. But here's the quick thing about um people bring their tiny homes, they're on a waiting list to actually get their tiny homes into WeCasa. So individuals can actually bring their homes there. That's why they're all so unique, everyone. Um, this is a great view because you are right near the river. You can go on um, tubing down the river right out of the WeCasa. If you wanna do a wedding, they have a giant area for hosting a wedding. Obviously, I know with COVID, so much going on. But okay. This is what happened. This is why they were able to do this. The flood that hit Colorado actually took out all these homes. And the only That's reason crazy. why they were able to actually, we got to thank you to Kenyon, put the tiny homes on wheels there because this area is a flood area. So okay, let's yeah. forward that to that area. And so they've worked really hard to bring this place to the most amazing area. They've also recently been hit with a lot of fires in that area. I'm sorry, my thing's not running as well as I would like it to be. There we go. So every home is unique and different. You can stay in all kinds of different homes. The homeowners themselves are promoting their homes online as well as we Casa. Uh, but what's so awesome about this five night giveaway, which is what the $935 value Yep, that's right. Super awesome. Yeah. Uh, you guys can see they're all kind of situated there. There's a little community area. That's where we hosted the movie night. Um, and there's, a, like I said, a big event center. So if you wanted to do a family thing, even during COVID, everyone's kind of got their own ability to, you know, shelter in place. So we will exit out of that. 
can bring us back to their website. And just give you a different view of the Wicasa. So there's ways to enter. And one of the things that we really want to focus on is getting you into our community. So do you want me to take you guys, take us through that? Yeah, let's do it. That sounds good. Okay. And uh, somebody was asking right. what so, there is to do. In, in, somebody was asking, asking what, what there was to do in Lions, Colorado oh, in, Lyons. in the wintertime. Yeah, and there's tons of uh, oh. activities there in the wintertime. There's also tons of activities there um, in the summertime and just year-round, really. Um, all kinds of festivals. There's uh, all kinds of snow sports, uh, you know, like, um, yeah, just all kinds of – there's – uh, mountain outdoors, climbing, yeah, yeah, just a, a bunch of outdoor activity oh. stuff there. Um, there's a river yeah, there. Okay. Summertime, you can do a lot of river activities and all that. So there's a ton of stuff you can be doing. Absolutely. Yes, it's going to be amazing. And it's worth it's worth going into this area, um, depending on the time. You know, I do have to shout out um, the tubing literally right out of the, the facility is amazing, right on the river right there. Um, and Colorado rivers cool. are phenomenal. So. All right. So, how yeah. do we win? How do we enter to win? What you'll do is you'll come to community.tinyhouse.com. I'm sure Zach and Jason, you can put that in the um, the chat because my screen's kind of big. And you'll want to go in there. You'll create yeah. an account. Okay. And we need to do these three sets by Sunday, November fifteenth at one p.m. Pacific time. So that's Sunday. November 15th, 1 p.m., plenty of time from now, and you'll be entered to win the five-night giveaway. So step one, you create an account right here. That, that'll be the link in your comments. You'll introduce yourself. So I'll, I'll click on these things in a moment. Introduce yourself in the community. We even showed you click on introductions, click new topic, and, you know, share who you are. Then you'll click on We Cost a Giveaway. Let me actually, I'll refresh in a moment. You'll create a new topic and answer these three questions. Where are you at in your tiny house journey? What was your favorite part about the tiny house conference? And what excites you about the We Casa Five Nights Day? Okay, I'm going to refresh because I know that uh, something just got added. Uh, you got it. If you click, um, yeah, the back arrow back to discussion because you're just on that one topic there. Okay, thank you. Do I just click on discussions? Oh, back to discussions. Okay, there we go. There's where it is. Yep, so you'll see that Lindsay's just on the left-hand screen there with the different spaces. Just hop in the discussion space, and you'll see the topic, We Cost a Giveaway. And that's where it looks like some people are already posting in there. <laughs> right, so, so imagine you guys are brand new. You've just clicked the link from the comment. You're going to be clicking on introductions first um, because you're going to, you know, let people know you're here. Like we did these a few days ago. Um, here we go. Let me get my, my cursor. Sorry. Oh, no, wheel. It'll, it'll go away, I promise. There we go. So we got a lot of people in, in the house. You know, just imagine – this is our community and Zach and Jason have really organized it so that we're not all over the map with all kinds of, you know, topics in a random feed. Okay. What you want to do is click on new topic and then you'll introduce yourself. I've already done mine, right? You'll say, hi there. Hi everyone. And then put in your information down here and click post. Okay. Then you'll head over to discussions. And once we're in discussions, you will see the We Casa giveaway. And that is where you're going to answer the three questions that we've asked right above here, you guys. So you'll be able to see that. You can actually take this, copy it, okay, and click in below. And it makes it easier for you to answer this. Or if you just do it like Carly, um, whichever way, you know, we want to appreciate everyone's got their different ways of doing it. So um, I'm going to hit paste. <clears throat> and it's going to show up any moment. <laughs> I know I copied it. We have copy capability, right, in this? I'm sure we do. Oh, yeah. For sure. Okay. 
Sorry, guys. My we got a lot of tabs open. There we go. Okay, so you can see it's right there. Comment below. So then you can answer where you got in the chair. Did I am just starting? Well, I for me, I own my own tiny home. Okay, and then maybe I will say I love seeing the um, nature. Um, um, connection with Zill. There we go. He just spoke. There's a lot of amazing things I could I could fill that whole entire. And what excites you about the WeCost the giveaway? I love tiny homes, or um, I really want to be in one to test it out. And what's great about Five Nights, right? You want to work with them. Maybe you'll stay in five different tiny homes. That's for you to chat with them about. Um, but that's a great way and you can definitely go and see all the different, uh, there we go, replying. So is that how it's to be done? You guys just go in the comment yeah. and put in your own? Yeah. Quick and simple and yeah. easy. Yeah, just to make it easy, just everyone hop in the discussion space on the left hand side there. You'll see a topic that says five night, uh, we cost a five night giveaway and just, um, hop in there and let us know why, answer a couple of those questions, introduce yourself and let us know. Uh, why you'd be so excited to, to win the week cost of giveaway. So there we go. And we got three comments as we see this. Now, if other people start discussing here, um, I'm not I'm curious if we can pin this. Uh, maybe you guys can, if you have control to pin it at the top, but if not, just look, yeah, we, can pin it. Yeah, we'll, we can, uh, it is, looks like it is pinned to the top. So we're good. Yeah, we're okay, great. Wonderful. So, Set up your account, click on introductions, introduce yourself, click new topic, go to discussions, and then click for We Cost a Giveaway and enter into the comments. All right. Are you wanting to see where the new topic button is inside the introduction? Okay. Perfect. Right here, introduction. So once you introduce yourself, I'm sorry, once you sign up for an account, the new topic is right here. Right. Big blue button. Big yeah. button. It, it's hard to miss when you're actually looking at your own screen on it. Uh, the small screen is a little bit harder to see. Gotcha. Yeah. So when you see introductions, it'll be a big, giant new topic. Um, and it'll be right there for you to click on and then go to discussions and enter and look for the week cost of giveaway and answer your three questions. Yeah, and Jenny was asking if airfare is included. Unfortunately, it's not. It's just the five nights stay at Week Casa, uh, so you have to um, handle logistics of getting there and whatnot. But um, the five nights are all free. So, yes, wonderful journey to the Week Casa. How many of you are excited about this awesome giveaway? Because we reached out to them. They were in the literally the middle of evacuating. Like all of Lyons, Colorado, Simplicity, yeah. Colorado, or sorry, Simplicity Tiny Homes, my buddy Byron up in the canyon, they got evacuated. Fortunately, their home did not burn, uh, but all kinds of stuff. And yet, even in the middle of that, she was offering, they were offering five nights day. So yeah. thank you so mm -hmm. much to them. Yep. Huge shout out to Wikasa. We're super thankful for them. Absolutely. Uh, you know, being willing to do this. So, Yeah. Yeah, it's a, and uh, if you guys, beyond that too, the community group is something we really want to start building out to uh, keep this exact feeling of being able to connect with others in the industry and others in the movement, keep that going beyond just this weekend. So um, that's why we want to drive uh, some really fun conversations there. And uh, we're going to be doing more giveaways like this inside the community group. So make sure you stay tuned in there. Awesome stuff coming. And yeah, beyond that, it's just a great way to keep the community community together after this event so um yeah and i would definitely say to check out the location groups on there yeah it has uh we're, we'll continue to refine it and as more people start using it we'll you know break it down to like you know even cities and that sort of thing right now it's a little bigger broader uh groups but the more people that i gotta in, show that that is so cool down. so we've already had some uh, a couple of good discussions in there. People will be like, oh, I, I live here and I live here too. And um, talking about meeting up and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, you know, that's the the way that we can, you know, grow bigger and stronger if we all work together, especially with uh, those in our same local areas. So, um, yeah, I think on the East I Coast, I've been discussing quite a bit 
Um, and if you guys are like, so if, if, if I'm in a state that is not represented, let's say Iowa, do I click on new topic? You do, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I say Iowa, and then uh, in the house, in the tiny house, right? Yep, yep. Okay. And then people can add their comments. Once I post a topic, then people can <laughs> add their comments. Yep, exactly. yeah. We've got Europe, Latin America, Canada. So if you're in different parts of the Canada, I know we've got a lot of, we got the Tiny House uh, Alliance Canada coming up tomorrow to chat. So they're going to, yeah. you know, this is just an awesome thing you guys have done, Jason and Zach. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. it's fun. It's, it's yeah, awesome to bring people it. together. That's, that's what we've been enjoying so much about the last conference and this one. And the by far the biggest feedback we get is just, being able to bring the community together around, uh, the, you know, an idea, a bigger idea than all of us and something that experts, individuals, like-minded people can just all speak into and help each other along the journey. So we're hopeful that this platform can continue this on through the weekend and throughout the year. So uh, that's that's something that we're passionate about, and that's why we built that platform. So, yeah. And the reason why I'm showing the nightly rentals because, you know, hey, I know only one person can win this, but – you're a winner because you're already thinking about wanting to try before you buy. So there's other places that you can check out around the country. There's uh, Loretta put in long-term rental in Pennsylvania. And we've yeah. got a tiny house in um, am I, um, Greenville, South Carolina. So yeah. That was, that was really cool. Love what? it. Right. Look at that home. Boom. Lots yeah. of That's beautiful. Yes. Oh, wait, I missed this. Looks like that's somewhere different. Oh, no, that's the outside. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. How so sweet. Wow. That's really cool. All right. So if you guys know of nightly rentals, please put them in there because obviously that's a lot of our focus right now around We Casa is the whole yeah. trip before you buy on um, best best thing you could ever do. I wish I had done it more <laughs> before I did that. Yeah. <laughs> And, and then just so everybody knows, it works best. The community seems to work best on Chrome. So we would definitely recommend uh, getting on with Chrome because it'll help. It'll just flow a little better. It helps prompt you to make your account and some of that sort of stuff. So um, right. Chantel, we'll uh, message you and try to figure out what's going on because um, I don't know if you need to input a postal code. Yeah, Chantel, we'll help you out get, get in there to create that account. Um, we'll email you right after this session, though. Or message you on here, yeah. And I like that, <clears throat> Celia. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a quick giveaway. I just got really inspired. Yeah. Who loves gifts? Who loves tiny home yeah. stickers? Yeah. Okay, this one goes to the first person in the chat that says, "Where in Colorado is We Casa?" Where? Oh, boom. Okay. Oh, that was going so quick. Wow. <laughs> Marilla, on wow. it. So Loretta gets a free sticker. What I want you to do is email me your address because I was trying to figure that out. I'm going to put my email. Uh, at, just say, I want the sticker. And then literally send me your address. I literally have what, hey, uh, Central America. Have stamps and the envelope right now. And I want to just do it like that. One of those to do things don't work well for me. So I like doing it right away. We'll be doing yeah. that. Soon. You guys like more stickers? We'll be doing that more. If I do another one, maybe one more. You guys, you guys come up with a question. Oh, you know, on the spot. Why is tiny? Something out of anything from the, the rest of the day. Maybe something about our community, which is. Yeah, or uh, how about this? Where was the, where and what was the first tiny house hotel? I don't even know this. Oh, I, uh, Jenna got Jenna it. Jenna got it. Jenna Carly. Hey, hey. Oregon. Is yeah, that right? Portland, Oregon. And what was Portland. it called? All right. Jenna got it down to the, you know, not just Oregon, but Portland. What was that place? What was the name? It's a Cole Peterson Tiny House Hotel. He was the first one to put them together and kind of make it an uh, official, official hotel, hotel yeah. sort of thing. So we got to get Cole on our community with the nightly stay. Yep. 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 Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, another one for you people in Austin, Texas. There's the Tiny House Hotel part of Village Farm. See, there's places all over the country, you guys. Nah, just they really are. Highly and, uh, recommended. And sometimes it's really hard to find them. And that's why we like this nightly rental place. So 
even if it's not your own place, but you just heard of this one, hey, I heard this one is, you know, over in this area or it's close to me over here. So when people are traveling around the country, they love to just try to stay in the different tiny house villages as they go around. So, uh, but it's really hard to track it and know where to be staying. So, um, yeah, it's great. Right, that, one, that one's for Jenna. There we go. I'm sorry, I didn't cre- catch the first Go one. Ahead. Oh, Loretta. Jenna, okay. Carly, and Loretta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Here we go. Well, you're from Nicaragua joining us. Welcome. I love that there's people literally all over the world here. Yeah. And uh, the next uh, session, I believe, is that, that's the next one, right? Uh, yes, next session. After this is Al from, uh, actually, I, I think he's maybe from Argentina, but um, oh, yeah. six months in Patagon- in the mountains of Patagonia in a yeah. tiny house this past summer uh, during all the shutdowns. So he's going to have a very interesting perspective um, on life in a tiny house with the extreme weather and different amazing adventures he had up there. So that's going to be a really cool one to yeah. jump into. Definitely excited for that. Lindsay, everyone's asking about that painting behind you. <laughs> That's my mom's watercolor. My mama did. Okay. That's right. This is my mom's house. So we here live here in uh, Ukiah, California, half the year. So okay. I thought it was very fitting that that should be there. Cool. Yeah, love it. Maybe I'm not I sure where any tiny buildings in Nicaragua. Tiny House Digs is also in Portland. Um, I think uh, Alexis and Christian were actually in a tiny house digs when, um, or at tiny house digs when they did their presentation. A hey, question for all, all of you here: Would a platform, would a, would a, I guess more of like a system to be able to track and find all the places to be able to stay in a tiny house uh, rental or park be something of interest to you? We're Looks like lots of yeses yeah. here. Okay. All right. We're uh, we're gonna do it then. Yeah. You just you just increased our to do list. <laughs> <laughs> our honey do. Yeah. You guys are the masters. Let's see. You've created a, a global conference. You've yeah. created a whole new online community platform. Uh, <laughs> the thing we really need, you guys, FYI, is a lot of awesome sponsors to really. We love the sponsors that we've gotten, and we need more because this is the kind of conference I've done festivals in person for decades, you guys. And I'm excited to join the sponsorship team. So t- uh, email support at tinyhouse.com. If you've got some people, some people, some companies um, that would benefit from, oh, you know, the 1,700 people that have signed up for this amazing yeah, we're event. We're closer to 1,900 now. <laughs> Almost yeah, 2, like the 300 yeah. or so people that are in the rooms, 200 to 300 every yeah. time. You know, we did the gold heat um, demonstration yesterday. You guys probably got a lot out of that. So, you know, I, we already have on our list. We got to get Fury on in there because they get, you know, a lot of these companies that get mentioned, they have products to sell. And this would be a great platform to do that. And that is really how these kind of conferences can keep getting better and better and better. Yeah, that's so. true. A couple last things. Uh, a couple of people have asked about the community available on a mobile app. I believe it is, but we'll we'll confirm that. We haven't been playing around with that too much, um, and that's something that we're definitely going to uh, be integrating. Um, but it is mobile friendly on just your browser as well, so it does uh, kind of translate that way. And oh, yeah, another one. Like I I have a tiny wood stove, you know, one of the things with all these resources, um, I personally saw the tiniest little stove in a bus. Do you guys know what the name is of those? I'm not sure. They're like these little dinky ones. They come from the boat industry. I remember someone just said it yesterday. Were they the Dickinson? Yeah, the Dickinson's little (laughs) stainless steel ones. Yep. Yeah, like, I guess they weren't the wood. They weren't wood. Those were, yeah, so pain. Um, Candy, I think her name was Candy. Um, asked uh if there's a place to uh place to figure out how to find somebody who wants to park on her land because it's that's a tricky one you know you know the people who have the land the people who have tiny home but they don't know how to connect with each other especially the people with tiny homes so uh that is another one on our to-do list someday we hope to have a a part of our platform basically a uh, place to park it 
Yep, absolutely. And until then, Surge Tiny House Villages, Jill Canto, can, yep. you know, can cover a lot of the country. Yeah. <laughs> and then don't forget, Tiny House Hosting is a Facebook group, and I'm seeing a lot of those. That's where I post. Yeah. We were looking for a place to park. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And toss that in the community group too. I, we have a space in there for homes for rent and, and homes for sale. So toss that in there, and people will be able to find you that way. Yeah. Um, we aren't twins, Beth, <laughs> but we could be. And uh, as far as uh, another platform, I'm not sure if you guys have seen it on our website, but we have we did build out. It's just the very beginning stages. But if you guys are looking for tiny homes to buy, um, we kind of did a comparison, uh, kind of like a. Um, it's called tiny house. Uh, it's it's tiny homes, tinyhouse.com backslash tiny dash homes, where you can compare all the different models of different builders across the country. We're continuing to add to that list, um, so that's a great resource too. Obviously, there's a bunch like tiny house listings that are used tiny homes, but we had trouble finding intel on models between different builders, so you can compare the pricing, the different features. Um, so that's a great way to hop in there and kind of look at all the different um, homes that are for sale that are new. So make sure you check that out. What was that link on, on the backslash? Uh, Zach just posted it again, tinyhouse.com backslash tiny-homes. Great. Yeah, I love um, how you guys really identify the quality level and you give a ranking system. Never yeah. done before. So super valuable to get. Um, you know, the insight on homes because it's a big investment and you want to make the right right choice. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> cool. What, and then, Lindsay, what was the name of that Facebook group, um, the, the Find Land yeah, one? I was just finding it. Tiny, um, tiny Home Hosting. Tiny House Hosting. Tiny House Hosting, I think. Okay. I will put it in the uh, chat. Yeah. Or also I'll put it in the community, you guys. Once the chat cool. leaves, you know. Yeah, the chat will be gone, so uh, we'll post some of these resources over inside the community. Cool. Uh, well, uh, if you guys have any other questions before we wrap up, we got about a minute, 20 seconds here before we jump into Al's session. Um, uh, Jim, James Guy, we haven't. That's that's something we're going to build out. Basically, we want to build out a resource to be able to find all the communities and tiny homes uh, that are available to stay in across the country. So that's something we're going to uh, be building over the next couple months here. We're uh, we're up in Portland, Oregon. Um, it's kind of rainy <laughs> the past couple of days, Super like rainy. always. So. Um, yeah, right. we, we can do a tiny house workshop section. That's the great part about the, uh, the community platform is we can build it out however uh, the community wants it. And so um, we have some great things coming in that way. Um, I don't know if you guys caught Erin, uh, her session from organizing and decluttering uh, with um, Marie Kondo, but we're going to be having a workshop uh, course there that even has a little discount for you guys on that. So there's a lot of cool workshops and online courses coming in the near future here. So, yeah, yeah. All right, well, everyone, Al's going to be jumping on here. Again, he he uh, was in a tiny house in the mountains of Patagonia for six months this past summer. He's an award-winning photographer and speaker, done a lot of talks with TED Talk. Um, and just all around a pretty inspiring guy. So let's all hop in there and uh, excited for the rest of the, the weekend. Yeah, thanks, you guys. Super excited. Don't forget to yeah, go uh, to win the giveaway. Yee! Go check it out. All right. See you guys later.